Hello everyone. In this episode, we will learn how to dynamically change the values of the x-axis and y-axis in a chart in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So let me show you the data table first. So this is the data table and here you can see the order quantity, um, sales amount, month and here you can see the week. So W hash the week number 5 dash 2019 is a year. So now let me go back to report page. And now here on the screen, you can see two slicer, month and week slicer and major type slicer. So and the below, you can see the line chart, the month wise order quantity, because from the slicer, I have selected month and here I have selected order quantity. So now you can see the month wise order quantity. So if I want to see the month wise sales, I will just simply click on this sales. So now you can see month wise total sales. Similarly, if I will click on the week, so now you can see the week wise total sales. Now, if I will click on the order quantity, now you can see the week wise order quantity. So how to do this? We'll see here. So from the modeling tab, First thing, I am going to add a new parameter. Just click here on the new parameter and the field parameter. And my parameter name is month and year, month and week, sorry. And from data table, I will add month as a parameter and second is a week as a parameter. And after that, I will click on the button carry it so it will add a one slicer for you so as you can see the slicer is added so now i will reduce the size of the slicer and place it on the top okay now i will go to the home tab and from home tab i will go to the transform data and again i will click on the transform data to go to the power query and from the home tab, you I will add a one table here. So I will say in enter data. And here I will add a column name. So my column name is major type. And value will be order quantity QTY. And another is total sales okay and table name is I will say major table click OK so now new table is added major table which has a two value order quantity and total sales. Now I'll click on apply and close. So as you can see here in your data model for the parameter month and week, there is a new table is added and I have added one more table, the major table from the power query. So this, this is the also a table. So now I will add a slicer here. And in this slicer, I will add a major type from major table. So two majors, order quantity and total sales. Now I will write a one DAX major. So on sales data, I will right click and I will say new major. And here I will say sales underscore order. Order QTY. Okay. Now I will come to the next line and here I will declare a one variable and I will say selected equal to selected value and I will take it from the major type table. 
major type so if you selected order quantity this selected value will return order quantity if you select total cells it will return a total cells now i will say if where val equal to value equal to if selected equal to order qty quantity then what we are going to do sum of order quantity table name sales data and column name order quantity close comma next line else total cells so i will say sum of not sum sum cells data and i will say oh the column name is total cells okay bracket close for sum bracket close for if and the next line i will say return well okay so what i am doing here i am saying that if the major type is selected whatever the order quantity or sales amount so store this in this variable and after that there is a if if selected value is order quantity then do this operation sum of order quantity otherwise you have to return a total cells and after that the val will be written whatever whatever is selected now hit the enter button to accept the cal formula or calculation now i will add a one line chart here and let me increase the size of the line chart and on y x axis i will add a month and week from parameter table and on y axis i will add the measure which we have created cells underscore order quantity now let me do some formatting so my category will be type will be category and i will enable a data level also okay now if i select a month and if i select a total order quantity so you can see the month wise total order quantity if i select a total cells so now you can see the month wise total cells if i select a week so now you can see the week wise total cells if i select a order quantity now you can see the week wise order quantity that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching i kindly request you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and please like and share our content you can also show your support by clicking the thanks button below the video. Thank you.